everyone and welcome to this guide and tutorial for the golden shot difficulty level is hard and i'm going to show you nine ways on how to get a chest in this guide and first and foremost it's very important to have in mind that you do get one free shot you need to spend that one wisely and of course get one of the chests so do not forget to make a comment in the comment section down below with uh, what chest you got and what you got in it. Hopefully you did get lucky and get the apocalypse. Many players do unlock the apocalypse and uh, also high level epic clubs uh, during uh, uh, their play in the golden shot. So uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, be a sub for more uh, content. So golden shot difficulty level is hard we're going to play one of the party pari courses which was hole and number eight in the tournament me myself had a big time a big problem with this one in the tournament but i found a really really good way for us here in the golden shot so we can almost be 100 percent that we will get a chest if we adjust it properly so the golden shot difficulty hard then you're going to gain berserkers every time you do get one of the chests and we're going to take a look at the chest here the first and foremost we do have the obsidian chest which you can get if you do get an holy one the amber chest for getting the yellow ring the crimson chest for the red one the aqua chest for the light blue one and the cobalt chest for the dark blue one then we do are going to play the golden long iron accuracy 66 and we're going to play the golden long iron in max distant distance adjustments which is going to be 1.83 per ring have in mind that i'm going to come back to that as well that we're going to have our landing position in medium distance of our club but we're still going to adjust for max numbers so you don't fool yourself when you're stretching out your club trying to look for the adjustment so golden ball which is a power one ball which means that it's going to be uh, a little bit affected more when it comes to power so that is already included in the 1.80 if you do not know how to adjust for the rings I really really suggest that you are going to check out the wind guide learn how to adjust for the rings you have a link for that in the video description down below and that will definitely help you improve your game last but not least before we start here question mark on the top right that will give you a direct link to the frequently asked questions for the golden shot so now it's time nine shot and we're going to get going so first shot we're going to play with 7.2 in wind and now we're going to find a specific spot here on the fairway with 7.2 with a little bit of headwind but mostly sidewind we're going to play with three and a little bit more sidewind just look at my landing position here just having the red ring to the right there we are a little bit low with our landing position just a little bit and you're going to see why later so we're going to adjust for 7.2 we're going to play this one four rings and that is going to give us a perfect shot but as you can see here even though the ball guy line was showing that we're going to miss left the the wind is pushing us to the right which uh, together with the side spin to the right also give us a very nice bounce there but as you can see we're coming a little bit short we're coming a little bit to the right and that means that we were a little bit low with our landing position but it also means that we did use a side spin to the right in a way that was not necessary so uh, still 1.83 per ring uh, and now we're going to play with some tailwind but some slight side wind to the left as well so it's basically north west max side max backspin and i'm actually going with max side spin here now you can see our landing position again a little bit higher up but you can see it's basically in between the shadows on the fairway with the red ring just cutting the rough on the right 5.8 is going to give ourselves 3.15 but 3.2 rings and then it's of course to hit perfect we do not use any curl we're just using the spin here but just take a look here again we go a little bit short and also too much to the right which means that we did use a little bit too much backspin for this particular shot but we still gained one of the chests which was the cobalt chest 
But now we're going to remember the landing position, but because the landing position was absolutely spot on. And you can see between the shadows there, red ring just by the rough on the right. So now we do have a wind that is 5.8, some headwind, like southwest wind. Uh, we go in max side spin now because it's pointing more towards the left there. Now I'm going to use a little bit uh, less when it comes to backspin. So I'm using three bars of backspin here instead. So three bars of backspin is going to be my general play with the headwind. So 5.8 is going to give us the same type of adjustment, 3.2 rings with the rings there. So we're not going to go with any curl, we're just going to rely on the side spin pulling us to the right there combined with the backspin making the ball to stop. So again we're coming into the right here but a nice shot and we're getting very very close now to the hole in one but still making a consistent chest. So now we do get the aqua chest here which is going to give us a little bit more good one to one. Thor's hammer cards which is absolutely perfect. Two berserker balls as well. So shot number four same type of win. Hmm. Okay, how are we going to do this one now? Now we can't use the same amount of side spin. So look at that. We're just using four bars of side spin to the right and taking away that last bar on the right there. Same landing position again, important. Three bars of backspin because it's headwind. So, and we're going to adjust this one 3.2 rings. So we have had 5.8 in wind three times in a row here. So it definitely makes it a little bit easier, of course. No curl whatsoever, and we're just going to let the ball do the work here. And as you can see, we're coming in so much nicer here. I'm getting it very, very close to get that hole in one. So now we are spot on. Let's continue with this approach and continue focusing on that. We do get a crimson chest, and we are going to get some, some nice, uh, uh, some castaway cards. I was about to say nice cards, but a castaway card. So now we're going to go to shot number five. Now we do have basically straight tailwind. And now we're going to uh, go with max backspin and we're going to go with one bar of side spin to the right. Same type of adjustment here, but just a tiny little bit, a tiny little bit higher. You can see the yellow ring being just on top there on the shadow and we're going to have the red ring and going there to the right. We're going to use two bars of side spin here in the end to the right. 5.5 is going to give ourselves three rings. And then we're going to uh, uh, make the shot perfect. Very important always to hit the shot perfect. And we're going to get a bounce, we're going to get a roll, and we're getting it very close. Why did we take a one, take two bars of side spin? One and a half bar would have been perfect, but we did get the amber chest. So you can see here with Tailwind, max back spin, one to two bars of side spin to the right, depending on how the tailwind is pointing really. And also moving up the landing position just a little bit there. So the yellow ring is going to be just touching the shadow on the top. And the shadow there is definitely going to be a very good position for us to work with. So now we do have some uh, tailwind, but also more side wind. So we're going to make a, a different here, three and a half bar uh, backspin. And we're not going to go with any side spin here. Still the same landing position, but as we do have more uh, backspin, we're going to move up again as we would be adjusting with tailwind. So the yellow ring just touching the shadow on the top. And now we're going to adjust for the rings here. 7.9 is going to give us 4.3 rings. And as you, again, we're not using any side spin here whatsoever. We're not using any curl. We're just going to make the ball do the work for us here. So three and a half bar side spin, and we're coming in very, very close. Uh, a little bit more back spin. We could have been getting that one, or just a little bit luckier bounce. But we did get the cobalt chest there in the end. And now we do have three more shots to do our very, very best to get that hole in one. And for you that maybe wonder, how can Tommy have nine shots? No, it's not nine shots. It is uh, cut together from different accounts. So one bar side spin to the right, max and back spin here. We're going to move up the landing position again. So we are having the yellow ring just cutting the top on the shadow there. No worries that the ball guy line is pointing to the left side of the pin. We're still going to make the shot uh, from this angle here. So we're going to go with three and a half rings. 
I'm going to make the ball like the impact of the bounce is going to be that we're going to get pushed to the right a little bit here and of course the backspin because of the uh, tailwind very very close can we get that holy one already so still same type of adjustment we do have two more tries can we get a hole in one max backspin one bar side spin 7.1 in tailwind same type of approach with the land landing position and i know i'm repeating myself with the landing position but the landing position is the key then it's all about get that bounce that we want to combine with the right spin adjustment so we're going to have 3.9 rings with this adjustment here then of course focus and hit the ball perfect and we get it to bounce we get it to roll we get it to grow no 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 oh so so close again but we are having one more shot to go last but not least can we gain the hole in one but this is actually kind of funny not funny but this is actually good this is the first time we have like basically straight side win to the left well three and a half bar backspin and max side spin to the right here now guys and that is going to uh, give me you can see the landing position is not going to be to the top of the shadow there as we do have basically straight side wind a little bit pointing tailwind that's why i'm using a little bit more uh, backspin in the end so uh, three and a half rings i'm going to hit the perfect and we're going to in this way use the side spin and put our ball come back into the right so that was very close again but we didn't get the hole in one but we did get every other chest especially on that account you can see i haven't played it here on this account yet uh, but it is a mix of holes with different type of wind to show you the best approaches for the Parc de Paris Golden Shot difficult to level hard. So please make a comment in the comment section below with what you got in the Golden Shot. To just repeat ourselves a little bit there to just make it easy for us with Tailwind, straight Tailwind, max backspin and then we can go with one bar of side spin to the right. If the arrow is pointing slightly like northeast then we're going to take away the side spin to the right and just go with max backspin with tailwind pointing north west then we're going to go with two uh, two to three bars of side spin to the right but still going to go with max backspin if we do have it more pointed towards crosswind in any uh, uh, anyway three and a half bar backspin and then we're going to adjust max side spin to the right if we do have wind uh, right to left if we do have wind left to right we're not going to use any side spin whatsoever headwind three bars of backspin we're going to uh, in that way uh, using the side spin as we would be doing as for tailwind just that we're going to use less backspin uh, sorry sidewind uh, yeah as we are doing with tailwind but less backspin we're also going to uh, with the landing position we are going to have the landing position with headwind and with crosswind we're going to have uh, the red ring just cutting the rough on the right but also the yellow ring just in the center of the uh, the two uh, shadows like uh, like one top and one bottom just in the center if we do have chain wind landing position is going to be with the yellow ring just on top of uh, that shadow there so thanks a lot for watching and good luck in the golden shot